fresh and cold England and today we're bringing you a different kind of episode. As some of you may know we have left Kenya and we're now in England and today we're actually going to London so that Malia can experience her first time in the city. Malia, are you excited for London? You just really want to go. Let's go, let's go. So anyway, Adam is not here but mom is and she's going to be our driver for the day. Usually we would take the train to London but because there are strikes, the trains aren't running and we're just going to basically drive ourselves there so that'll take an hour. I'm excited. Mother? I'm excited too as well. Yeah. I've been dreaming about this to take Malia for Christmas lights for ages. Oh, cool. 20. <laughs> So, mom was just saying how much more it snowed here. Where? Look at this! Malia, let's go in the snow! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> how excited are you? Very! This is okay, Darius, no, Tanya, no, no, hi. Thumbs, down. thumbs up. Yeah. Let's get you guys in the snow, shall we? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> snow fight! <laughs> Adam, this is what you're missing, but if it helps, I'm gonna lick some snow for you. Mm, yum. <laughs> Should we go? Let's go to London. Bye -bye. What do you want to say? Uh, we're in London. we are we going to go to ice skating? Okay, so Malia has just basically told you what the first activity in London is. Are you excited? Yeah! We used to live at Archway. Okay, so one of the main reasons we're in London is so that we can actually explore the Christmas lights and all the Christmas magic. So, I'm excited. Where are we, Mother? We're at the Covent Garden. So, Covent Garden is actually one of the nicer places to come during Christmas. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Is that true? If you guys want to check out a place to do in Covent Garden, this looks really, really nice. Check out this. So beautiful. Um, at Covent Garden, you actually have snow once like per hour, but we don't know what time it is. So we have to basically go and find out what time the snow is going to come and then hopefully we get to experience some snow. <laughs> Malia, is it snow or is it bubbles? <laughs> So that was very short-lived. It lasted literally like a minute or two, but now we're going ice skating. So stay tuned. Okay, so you actually have to book ice skating before you come and do it. Basically, we were told to come back because they hold a number of tickets. So I would advise if you want to do ice skating, just always pre-book in advance online. While we wait, we're just going to grab a pizza, keep the kids happy and then go back and try again. And pizza is here and it's massive. Where's your pizza? It's so tiny, I can't see it. Well, now life is complete. Mm. Gin and tonic make you tight, gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. I toast to him that red nosed deer. Jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. To be honest, all the kids put me to shame. It's been about 12 years since I've ice skated and that was hard. 
and because I couldn't really go on my own so I had to push her around but yeah it was fun okay so it's time to go to Big Bang to see how uh, it's almost nine minutes to five yeah yeah so at five o'clock there will be lots of Big Bang so what mom was trying to say is that the Big Bang chimes I was actually thinking about the word as well mom oh. the word is Big Bang chimes every hour so we're actually not gonna make it but we can see it from over here and I hope we can hear it I think we've got like a minute to go yeah we're a bit late let's see and we've got Big Ben just over there it's so tiny once upon a time we used to live in London and it's so nice coming back and just kind of being a tourist again what do you guys think is it nice he wants to be in the video don't you? <laughs> right, let's go. Here's to mistletoes and here's to you. Jingle them bells and frolic come. Let's sing and dance and cheer. It's the best. And Malia's hungry. What would you like to eat? I would like some snacks. Yes. What did you order? Wow. We had pancakes, that was mother's order. So these are Dutch pancakes? With strawberries. Oh, this looks amazing. Mango. Thank you, Malia. <laughs> Just paid seven pounds for the most overpriced cheese sandwich. Do you know how much this was? Seven pounds? <laughs> I could have done this at home for one. All right, so we're just waiting for everybody to come off the merry-go-round and then I think we might go to Oxford Street and see the Christmas lights there, take a double-decker bus and then basically I think that will be the end of our London cityscape. All right, so we missed the chiming on the last hour. We're gonna try and make it for six o'clock. We've got 10 minutes to go over the bridge. Let's go. Welcome to Regent Street. Where are we? <laughs> it's so pretty! <laughs> everything glistens and everything's bright Everyone's happy and spirits are light I am sitting here thinking Along with my drink. Malia, how big is this teddy bear? I think it's bigger than your head. You want it? <laughs> Actually, it's not too expensive. Remember when love was around, when we were glow, the talk of the town. When I'm sitting here drinking, I can't help but think. About you, about us, as I do this time. Of How was London? The best place ever. The best place ever. Other than Africa. Well, yeah, Kenya comes first, obviously. Thank you. Actually, I want to recap a little bit about London when I get home. But tomorrow, Malia is going to pick her own Christmas tree. Um, there's basically a place where you can cut your own tree. You go and pick it and they cut it for you. And they have reindeer. I'm, I'm so, excited uh, just to see her little face. So let me get home and just update you on how we found London. All right, so I'm home all cozied up. And I just wanted to quickly break down the route that we did today in London. 
So we started with Carnaby Street. I'm pretty sure they do it every year. You've got the Christmas tree uh, just outside this shopping center type thing with every hour on the exact time you've got snow, which is basically bubbles, but that's quite cool. It just looks like real snow. And then you can basically grab some snacks or food or whatever. And then after that, we went to Somerset House for ice skating. You have to pre-book in advance. So make sure you book in advance. We were very lucky because they reserved some tickets. And then after that, we went to see the Big Ben, London Eye, and then obviously we walked around by the river. And just before the London Eye, usually again, sort of every year, there's a Christmas market, like a tiny one, nothing crazy. But we got some German pancakes and I got a cheese toasty and and then we basically ended with, we actually got on a bus and went to Oxford Street, Regent Street first, and then we ended up on Oxford Street where you got the beautiful angel lights and just like all the shop windows are just crazy decorated and beautiful and every year they just get better and better and I still want to do more. I really wanted to go to Harrods because Harrods have a beautiful display every single year. There was only so much we can do. That was that. So we walked around and what I wanted to say is it doesn't matter where you go in London as long as you're sort of in the central area you will 100% experience Christmas you know. So that's it from me today and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we go to pick our tree, a Christmas tree. Good night. Malia, where are we going? Pick a Christmas tree. To pick a Christmas tree and to see? Reindeer. Yay! Okay, let's go. We're off to Welford Christmas Tree Farm and basically you can go and pick your own tree and then they cut it for you and apparently they have real uh, reindeers. So let's see. I'm quite excited. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. Malia, you ready to pick the tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. one are you going to pick? Like a big, big, big one or a tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny one? Enormous is that tree. That looks nice. But I don't think you'll fit in the house. We may have to make a hole in the roof. <laughs> I've got to say, this is really cool. Malia, reindeer, go, go, go. Who's that? What's his name? Is that Rudolph? No. No. Yeah. What, what do they have? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Marshmallow. Let's go and ask Bayou. Let's go. Look at this. What do you think? Can you see that one over there? Do you like that one? By the way, this is dad. First time feature. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just let themselves in. I don't think you're supposed to go over there, but they're there. All right, so we actually have to find a different one. I didn't realize, but okay, I'll explain how things work around here. It's a little bit confusing. Oh, I found one. I mean, how fluffy is too fluffy? Malia, look at this one. This is ridiculous. Okay, this might be a little bit too wide. What do you think? All right, well, Malia got that one. Okay, you want to come back so he can cut it? <laughs> the only ones he can have is the one with the pink ribbon. It's not every single tree here. So I thought it was every tree, so we kind of selected our perfect tree, but it didn't have a pink ribbon, so he came and explained, this is how you do it. And we have the tree. You excited? Yeah. It's just cold right now. <laughs> well, it's a fat tree. <laughs> the drive home is going to be fun. <laughs> With a tree beside our faces. Here we go. We have the tree. Let's go home. All right, so Christmas tree is here or 
at home but we're not decorating it today it's a little bit late so instead we're gonna visit my brother mom's just stopping outside somebody's house who has incredible christmas lights so let me show you check this out whoa yeah santa's up there he's peeking through the window The one thing we take very seriously in the UK is Christmas decorations. You know what? My mom actually has an amazing front display that she made herself by hand. Alia, you making your own pizza? What's gonna go on it? Cheese? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Margarita pizza. Of course, margarita. And margarita pizza has like bacon and yes. mushrooms, right? Olives. What you're doing is the right thing, so don't worry. <laughs> Malia, are you ready to put your first Christmas decoration on? So, this one is coming from Kenya, isn't it? The rest you're gonna do with, your, with Darius, yeah. Nice. You wanna see the Christmas decorations? Yes. Wow. Okay, so yeah. Ready? We're gonna start decorating in a little bit. Malia is gonna do it with Darius. And I'm gonna support, I guess. I'm gonna make sure that the tree doesn't end up looking like chaos. It's such a beautiful tree. Mom usually has the plastic ones and this is the first tree we got in ages and it's so fluffy. Malia did a good job. Well done, Malia. All right, so I'm just quickly catching up with a little bit of work before we start to decorate the Christmas tree. But um, I just wanted to like plug Mountain Warehouse is basically, we were just on Oxford Street and mom went into Mountain Warehouse just to look and I got this thing. And I've got to say, like, I do actually like their stuff and they've got like right now they've got sale. I guess I don't know if this is something regular, but it's a good place to get winter stuff or outdoorsy stuff. And I've just looked online today as well to see if I can get some more snowboarding gear because we're going to Austria in literally a few weeks now for our first little couples get away with adam just wanted to say if you guys want winter things that are actually really nice i cannot live out of this right now yeah mountain warehouse is a good place to go to get okay see you guys in one second for christmas decorations all right kids are we ready yeah who's gonna put these on me. who's the tallest me. i think it's me is it ready yet Three, two, one. Wow, this is the most beautiful Christmas tree I've ever seen. Who did this job? Me. One of us. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. All the Christmassy stuff, being home with family and just this wholesome, wholesome energy. I wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in. We are super excited. Christmas is just around the corner and Adam right now is in the air. He's leaving Kenya to come to the UK and he's going straight to, to Norwich where his family lives. So we're meeting him in two days. This so? is it. We wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and see you on the next one.